Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. It is always fun to learn maths through activities. So today in this video, we are going to prove Pythagoras theorem geometrically as well as through activity. But before starting with this video, let me tell you that we have many more such maths art integrated projects, activities and working models on our channel Learning Notebook. You can find the list of all of them on our website as well. The link to our website is below in the description box. For this activity, we need few colorful thick sheets, a ruler, a black marker pen, a pencil and a pair of scissors. Aim of this art integrated project is to Prove the Pythagoras theorem geometrically as well as with the help of an activity. The theorem is, in a right angled triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. If you are enjoying watching videos on our channel, then do like, share and comment on our videos. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel Learning Notebook. Students, let's consider a triangle ABC right angled at B. So, in a right angled triangle, side opposite to right angle is the hypotenuse. So, here side opposite to angle B is AC. Therefore, AC is the hypotenuse of triangle ABC. Now, according to Pythagoras theorem, in a right angle triangle, C square equals to A square plus B square, where C is the hypotenuse and A and B are the other two sides of this triangle. We also have a very interesting activity to understand addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of integers. I would recommend you to watch this video. The link to this video is here on the top and in the description box. Now let's prove this Pythagoras theorem geometrically. We are given a triangle ABC right angled at B and we have to prove that AC square equals to AB square plus BC square. To prove Pythagoras theorem, let's first draw a perpendicular BD which meets AC at point D. Now, consider triangles ADB and triangle ABC. In both these triangles, angle A equals to angle A as it is common to both the triangles. Next, angle ADB equals to angle ABC as both of them measure 90 degree. So students, by angle angle criterion, we can say triangle ADB is similar to triangle ABC. And we know if two triangles are similar, then their corresponding sides are proportional. So we can say AB by AC equals to AD by AB. Or we can write it as AB square equals to AD into AC. Let's mark it as 1. In the same way, we can prove that triangle BDC 
is similar to triangle ABC and thus BC square equals to CD into AC. Let's mark it as number 2. Let's add 1 and 2 and we get AB square plus BC square equals to AD into AC plus CD into AC. Now take AC common and we get AC into AD plus CD. And AD plus CD is AC. So we get AC into AC which is equals to AC square. So students, we have proved that AB square plus BC square equals to AC square. And hence we have proved the Pythagoras theorem. Now let's prove this theorem with the help of an activity. We also have interesting activity on identifying 3D shapes in historical buildings. Then we have a lot of mensuration activities like finding total surface area of cube and cuboid and many more. Now let's prove Pythagoras theorem by activity. In the first step, take a red sheet of paper and draw a right angled triangle on it as shown here. Students, you can take A equals to 6 cm, B equals to 8 cm and C equals to 10 cm. Then cut this triangle with the help of pair of scissors. In the next step, take a blue colored sheet and draw a square of side a equals to 6 cm on A. Then cut out this square with the help of pair of scissors. Now let's take an orange sheet and this time let's draw a square of side B equals to 8 cm. Again cut out this square. Now students take a green colored sheet and draw a square of side C equals to 10 cm and then cut this square as well. Students, we have videos on all the algebraic identities where we prove identity algebraically as well as with the help of interesting and creative activities. So I would recommend you to watch these videos. So we have cut out a red right angle triangle with sides A and B and hypotenuse as C. Then we have also cut out a blue square with side A, an orange square with side B and a green square with side C. Now students, First take the right angled triangle and place it as shown here. Now place the three squares along the three sides of this triangle as shown here. Next draw diagonals of orange square and mark their intersection point as O. Now through O draw a line MN parallel to AC. Next draw a line perpendicular to MN passing through O. Now students cut this orange square along these yellow lines. If you are enjoying watching videos on our channel, then do like, share and comment on our videos. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel 
learning notebook. So after cutting the orange square along the yellow lines, you should get four quadrilaterals as shown here. Students, if you want to learn addition, subtraction, and multiplication of algebraic expressions through activity, then do refer to our separate video. The link to this video is here on the top and in the description box. Now students, place the green square first, then orange quadrilaterals, and then in the middle place the blue square. What do you observe here? We see that the four quadrilaterals along with blue square completely cover the green square. This means area of green square equals to area of blue square plus area of orange square. And area of green square is C square, area of blue square is A square and area of orange square is B square. So we have proved that C square equals to A square plus B square. So this was our activity to prove the Pythagoras theorem. Students, do try this activity to learn maths in a fun way. You can check out our channel Learning Notebook for more such videos. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.